A brick is building material used to make walls, pavements and other elements in masonry construction. Traditionally, the term brick referred to unit composed of clay, but it is now used to denote any rectangular units laid in mortar. A brick can be composed of clay-bearing soil, sand and lime, or concrete materials. Bricks are produced in numerous classes, types, materials, and sizes which vary with region and time period, and are produced in bulk quantities. Two basic categories of bricks are fired and non-fired bricks. Block is a similar term referring to a rectangular building unit composed of similar materials, but is usually larger than a brick. Lightweight bricks are made from expanded clay aggregate. Fired bricks are one of the longest-lasting and strongest building materials, sometimes referred to as artificial stone, and have been used since circa 5000 BC. Air-dried bricks, also known as mud bricks, have a history older than fired bricks, and have an additional ingredient of a mechanical binder such as straw. Bricks are laid in courses and numerous patterns known as bonds, collectively known as brickwork, and may be laid in various kinds of mortar to hold the bricks together to make a durable structure. History Middle East and South Asia The earliest bricks were dried brick, meaning they were formed from clay-bearing earth or mud and dried until they were strong enough for use. The oldest discovered bricks, originally made from shaped mud and dating before 7500 BC, were found at Talaswood, in the Upper Tigris region and in southeast Anatolia close to Diyarbakir. Other more recent findings, dated between 7000 and 6395 BC, come from Jericho, Katalhuyuk, the ancient Egyptian fortress of Buran, and the ancient Indus Valley cities of Mohenjo-daro, Harappa, and Megar. Ceramic, or fired brick was used as early as 3000 BC in early Indus Valley cities. China In pre-modern China, bricks were being used from the 2nd millennium BCE at a site near Xian. Bricks were produced on a larger scale under the Western Zhou Dynasty about 3,000 years ago, and evidence for some of the first fired bricks ever produced has been discovered in ruins dating back to the Zhou. The Carpenter's Manual Ying Zhao Fasha, published in 1103 at the time of the Song Dynasty described the brick-making process and glazing techniques then in use. Using the 17th century encyclopedic text Teen Gong Kai Wu, historian Timothy Brook outlined the brick production process of Ming Dynasty China. The kiln master had to make sure that the temperature inside the kiln stayed at a level that caused the clay to shimmer with the color of molten gold or silver. He also had to know when to quench the kiln with water so as to produce the surface glaze. To anonymous laborers fell the less skilled stages of brick production, mixing clay and water, driving oxen over the mixture to trample it into a thick paste, scooping the paste into standardized wooden frames, smoothing the surfaces with a wire-strung bow, removing them from the frames, printing the fronts and backs with stamps that indicated where the bricks came from and who made them, loading the kilns with fuel stacking the bricks in the kiln, removing them to cool while the kilns were still hot, and bundling them into pallets for transportation. It was hot, filthy work. In the 21st century, the ILAB has recorded significant instances of child labor and forced labor in the bricks manufacture sector and classified China as one of the 76. Countries mentioned in its 2014 list of goods produced by child labor or forced labor. Europe early civilizations around the Mediterranean adopted the use of fired bricks, including the ancient Greeks and Romans. The Roman legions operated mobile kilns and built large brick structures throughout the Roman Empire, stamping the bricks with the seal of the legion. During the early Middle Ages the use of bricks in construction became popular in northern Europe. After being introduced there from northern western Italy, an independent style of brick architecture, known as brick Gothic flourished in places that lacked indigenous sources of rocks. 
Examples of this architectural style can be found in modern-day Denmark, Germany, Poland, and Russia. This style evolved into Brick Renaissance as the stylistic changes associated with the Italian Renaissance spread to Northern Europe, leading to the adoption of Renaissance elements into brick building. A clear distinction between the two styles only developed at the transition to Baroque architecture. In Lübeck, for example, Brick Renaissance is clearly recognizable in buildings equipped with terracotta reliefs by the artist Statius von Durin who was also active at Schwerin and Wismar. Long-distance bulk transport of bricks and other construction equipment remained prohibitively expensive until the development of modern transportation infrastructure, with the construction of canal, roads and railways. Industrial era production of bricks increased massively with the onset of the Industrial Revolution and the rise in factory building in England. For reasons of speed and economy, bricks were increasingly preferred as building material to stone, even in areas where the stone was available. It was at this time in London that bright red brick was chosen for construction to make the buildings more visible in the heavy fog and to prevent traffic accidents. The transition from the traditional method of production known as hand molding to a mechanized form of mass production slowly took place during the first half of the 19th century. Possibly the first successful brick making machine was patented by a Mr. Henry Clayton, employed at the Atlas Works in Middlesex, England, in 1855, and was capable of producing up to 25,000 bricks daily with minimal supervision. His mechanical apparatus soon achieved widespread attention after it was adopted for use by the Southeastern Railway Company for brick making at their factory near Folkestone. The Bradley and Craven Limited Stiff Plastic Brick Making Machine was patented in 1853, apparently predating Clayton. Bradley and Craven went on to be a dominant manufacturer of brick making machinery predating both Clayton and Bradley and Craven Limited, However was the brick-making machine patented by Richard A. Verve Allen of Haverstraw, New York in 1852. The demand for high office building construction at the turn of the 20th century led to a much greater use of cast and wrought iron and later steel and concrete. The use of brick for skyscraper construction severely limited the size of the building. The Monadnock Building, built in 1896 in Chicago required exceptionally thick walls to maintain the structural integrity of its 17 stories. Following pioneering work in the 1950s at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology and the Building Research Establishment in Watford, UK, the use of improved masonry for the construction of tall structures up to 18 stories high was made viable. However, the use of brick has largely remained restricted to small to medium-sized buildings, as steel and concrete remain superior materials for high-rise construction. Methods of Manufacture Three basic types of brick are unfired, fired, and chemically set bricks. Each type is manufactured differently. Mud brick unfired bricks, also known as mud bricks, are made from a wet clay containing soil mixed with straw or similar binders. They are air dried until ready for use. Fired brick fired bricks are burned in a kiln which makes them durable. Modern fired clay bricks are formed in one of three processes: soft mud, dry press, or extruded. Normally, brick contains the following ingredients: Silica 50% to 60% by weight, alumina 20% to 30% by weight, lime 2 to 5% by weight, iron oxide 7% by weight, magnesia less than 1% by weight. The soft mud method is the most common, as it is the most economical. It starts with the raw clay, preferably in a mix with 25 to 30% sand to reduce shrinkage. The clay is first ground and mixed with water to the desired consistency. The clay is then pressed into steel molds with a hydraulic press. The shaped clay is then fired at 900 to 1000 degrees Celsius to achieve strength. Rail kilns in modern brickworks, this is usually done in a continuously fired tunnel kiln, 
in which the bricks are fired as they move slowly through the kiln on conveyors, rails, or kiln cars, which achieves a more consistent brick product. The bricks often have lime, ash, and organic matter added, which accelerates the burning process. Balls trench kilns in India, brick making is typically a manual process. The most common type of brick kiln in use there is the Balls trench kiln, based on a design developed by British engineer W. Ball in the late 19th century. An oval or circular trench is dug, 6 to 9 meters wide, 2 minus 2.5 meters deep, and 100 to 150 meters in circumference. A tall exhaust chimney is constructed in the center. Half or more of the trench is filled with green bricks which are stacked in an open lattice pattern to allow airflow. The lattice is capped with a roofing layer of finished brick. In operation, new green bricks, along with roofing bricks, are stacked at one end of the brick pile. Cooled finished bricks are removed from the other end for transport to their destinations. In the middle, the brick workers create a firing zone by dropping fuel through access holes in the roof above the trench. The advantage of the BTK design is a much greater energy efficiency compared with clamp or scove kilns. Sheet metal or boards are used to route the airflow through the brick lattice so that fresh air flows first through the recently burned bricks, heating the air, then through the active burning zone. The air continues through the green brick zone, and finally out the chimney, where the rising gases create suction which pulls air through the system. The reuse of heated air yields savings in fuel cost. As with the rail process above, the BTK process is continuous. A half dozen laborers working around the clock can fire approximately 15,000 minus 25,000 bricks a day. Unlike the rail process, in the BTK process the bricks do not move. Instead, the locations at which the bricks are loaded, fired, and unloaded gradually rotate through the trench. Dry pressed bricks The dry press method is similar to the soft mud method, but starts with a much thicker clay mix, so it forms more accurate, sharper edged bricks. The greater force in pressing and the longer burn make this method more expensive. Extruded bricks For extruded bricks the clay is mixed with 10 to 15 percent water or 20 to 25 percent water in a pug mill. This mixture is forced through a die to create a long cable of material of the desired width and depth. This mass is then cut into bricks of the desired length by a wall of wires. Most structural bricks are made by this method as it produces hard, dense bricks, and suitable dyes can produce perforations as well. The introduction of such holes reduces the volume of clay needed, and hence the cost. Hollow bricks are lighter and easier to handle, and have different thermal properties from solid bricks. The cut bricks are hardened by drying for 20 to 40 hours at 50 to 150 degrees Celsius before being fired. The heat for drying is often waste heat from the kiln. European-style extruded bricks or blocks are used in single-wall construction with finishes applied on the inside and outside. Their many voids comprise a greater proportion of the volume than the solid, thin walls of fired clay. Such bricks are made in 15, 25, 30, 42 and 50 cm widths. Some models have very high thermal insulation properties, making them suitable for zero-energy buildings. Influences on color The fired color of tired clay bricks is influenced by the chemical and mineral content of the raw materials, the firing temperature, and the atmosphere in the kiln. For example, pink colored bricks are the result of a high iron content. White or yellow bricks have a higher lime content. Most bricks burn to various red hues. As the temperature is increased the color moves through dark red purple and then to brown or gray at around 1,300 degrees Celsius. The names of bricks may reflect their origin and color, such as London Stock Brick and Cambridgeshire White. Brick tinting may be performed to change the color of bricks to blend in areas of brickwork with the surrounding masonry. An impervious and ornamental surface may be laid on brick either by salt glazing, in which salt is added during the burning process.
or by the use of a slip, which is a glaze material into which the bricks are dipped. Subsequent reheating in the kiln fuses the slip into a glazed surface integral with the brick base. Types of fired clay bricks There are thousands of types of bricks that are named for their use, size, forming method, origin, quality, texture, and or materials. Categorized by manufacture method. Extruded, made by being forced through an opening in a steel die, with a very consistent size and shape. Wire cut, cut to size after extrusion with a tensioned wire which may leave drag marks. Molded, shaped in molds rather than being extruded machine molded. Clay is forced into molds using pressure handmade. Clay is forced into molds by a person. Dry press, shaped into molds but using high pressure to form the unit. Categorized by use. Common or building, a brick not intended to be visible, used for internal structure. Face, a brick used on exterior surfaces to present a clean appearance. Hollow, not solid, the holes are less than 25% of the brick volume. Perforated, holes greater than 25% of the brick volume. Keyed, indentations in at least one face and end to be used with rendering and plastering. Paving, brick intended to be in ground contact as a walkway or roadway. Thin, brick with normal height and length but thin width to be used as a veneer. Specialized use bricks. Chemically resistant, bricks made with resistance to chemicals. Acid brick, acid resistant bricks. Engineering, a type of hard, dense, brick used where strength, low water porosity or acid resistance are needed. Further classified as type A and type B based on their compressive strength. Accrington, a type of engineering brick. Fire or refractory, highly heat resistant bricks. Clinker, a vitrified brick. Ceramic glazed, fire bricks with a decorative glazing. Bricks named for place of origin. Cream City Brick, a light yellow brick, made in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Dutch, a hard light colored brick originally from the Netherlands. Ferrum Red Brick, a type of construction brick. London Stock, type of handmade brick which was used for the majority of building work in London and southeast England until the growth in the use of machine-made bricks. Nanakshai bricks, a type of decorative brick in India. Roman, a long, flat brick typically used by the Romans. Staffordshire blue brick, a type of construction brick. Chemically set bricks, chemically set bricks are not fired but may have the curing process accelerated by the application of heat and pressure in an autoclave. Calcium silicate bricks, calcium silicate bricks are also called sand, lime or flint lime bricks depending on their ingredients. Rather than being made with clay they are made with lime binding the silicate material. The raw materials for calcium silicate bricks include lime mixed in a proportion of about 1 to 10 with sand, quartz, crushed flint or crushed silicious rock together with mineral colorants. The materials are mixed and left until the lime is completely hydrated. The mixture is then pressed into molds and cured in an autoclave for 3 to 14 hours to speed the chemical hardening. The finished bricks are very accurate and uniform, although the sharper risers need careful handling to avoid damage to brick and brick layer. The bricks can be made in a variety of colors, white, black, buff and gray blues are common and pastel shades can be achieved. This type of brick is common in Sweden, especially in houses built or renovated in the 1970s. In India these are known as fly ash bricks, manufactured using the Falgi process. Calcium silicate bricks are also manufactured in Canada and the United States, and meet the criteria set forth in ASTM C7310 standard specification for calcium silicate brick. Concrete bricks Bricks formed from concrete are usually termed blocks, and are typically pale grey in colour. They are made from a dry, small aggregate concrete which is formed in steel moulds by vibration and compaction in either an egg layer or static machine. The finished blocks are cured rather than fired using low-pressure steam. Concrete blocks are manufactured in a much wider range of shapes and sizes than clay bricks and are also available with a wider range of face. 
treatments, a number of which simulate the appearance of clay bricks. Concrete bricks are available in many colors and as an engineering brick made with sulfate-resisting Portland cement or equivalent. When made with adequate amount of cement they are suitable for harsh environments such as wet conditions and retaining walls. They are made to standards BS 6073 and 771-3. Concrete bricks expand and contract to more than clay or sand lime bricks so they need movement joints every 5 to 6 meters, but are similar to other bricks of similar density in thermal and sound resistance and fire resistance.